Uh, some scuba diver, not a scuba diver, but just a snorkel oh, wow. and some fins went in at around oh, 20 miles offshore. So from Naples and get a look what he got. He got video of this huge about a 32 to 35 foot whale shark. This is Mr. Whitlock right here, uh, a well known angler and artist. And I tell you what, he was uh, very close to this uh, huge whale shark that a lot of people have been seeing lately, especially in the Gulf of Mexico. One guy reported to see five of them, and the fish underneath them are pretty good size. It could be cobia, and you just see the enormity of that particular whale shark, and uh, really appreciate him sending me this video. But they aren't harmful. No, right? they actually yeah. plankton eaters, and they don't have teeth. You got to look at this. It's some great action of a bass. That's right. It's fresh water, not salt water, and that's a huge bass in Lake Okeechobee, and we know this guy. This guy caught a nice bass. In I fact, he caught he two familiar. nice bass. Yeah, you know who he is, Haley. Uh, <laughs> I may I'll have met what, him once or twice. Yeah, I think uh, he said around five to six pound bass. There. Yeah. He's enjoying his time off. He is. You know, a little break right there. Yeah, he he left it like before 4 a.m. Oh, yeah. 3.30 or you something. You know he likes fishing. He does if that. you leave at 3.30 a.m., yeah. yeah. This guy likes fishing, too. This is the guy who shot that whale shark. This is Steve Woodlock. Oh, wow. He's an artist as well as an angler, and he even got his artwork on the Yeti cooler. I saw, yeah, that Yeti. Yeah, wow. absolutely. There's some of his artwork right there. I've met him and talked to him at the Coastal Conservation Association. Appreciate him sending that in, too, by the way. He was out uh, doing some grouper fishing, like this guy, Captain Brian Marcy, when he saw that whale shark. And this one, Breakwater Charters, we appreciate that photo as well. Lots going on. And